Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Um, tonight I want to discuss the Galaxy Note 9. <coughs> Samsung Galaxy Note 9, sorry. Now right now I go through the Sprint Network, I'm on a plan, um, and I got the Galaxy Note 9 that I had gotten last August. I had pre-ordered it. Sorry. I'm kinda tired. Um and first of all I wanna say it's the best phone I've ever had. It is excellent. I think that Samsung went above and beyond to create a great phone. Um, yes, it's expensive, but I feel like it's worth the money in comparison to a lot of all the other phones. Um, now I am into photography and video taking, obviously, and so, um, I really want to point out that the picture quality and the video quality on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 phone is absolutely amazing. I love it. Um, especially the videos, they're crystal clear. Uh, wow, what a big difference in comparison to the other phones. <clears throat> now, I'm personally excited for the Galaxy Note 10. That I hear is coming out in August, but... Um, for right now, uh, the Galaxy Note 9 is the way to go. Um, <clears throat> the battery. Holy Lord. They made a battery that actually lasts on a phone. Usually you buy a phone and the battery craps the bed. Not very long after you have it. Um... And I'm really glad that they uh, very much upgraded the battery quality because it's ridiculous how many phones I've had to go through or batteries for the phones. And they're expensive um, that I've had to go through because for some reason the batteries on the other phones don't last. Um, but I, I am impressed with the battery. Uh, I am impressed with the camera and the speaker system. Uh, I think that they did such an excellent job, Samsung did. And, uh, yeah, I think that it's going to be really hard to top it. Uh, so, especially for me. Because I like to keep phones uh, for long periods of time until I'm really impressed with the phone. Like if I see like a, a sample of it and I can see what it can do and everything. Uh, or I read the specs and stuff myself because I'm very detailed like that. <clears throat> but other than that, if a phone lasts and you like your phone, there's no reason to get rid of your phone. I mean, I had an Envy for the longest time because I love the Envy phones. Of course, that was a hot minute ago, but uh, that was one that I loved. My first Note was actually, actually the Galaxy Note 4, and I really did like that phone. <clears throat> um, I first had one when I was... Uh, part of a contract through the Verizon network. Uh, but, man, they've come a long way, <laughs> let me tell you. And I cannot wait to attend concerts and record uh, even video clips and take pictures of the concerts and stuff. And, you know, I like to take pictures of nature and stuff like that, and the, the qualities are so crystal clear. And the videos, I have several of them that I've uploaded on YouTube from my Galaxy Note 9. And 
it just impresses me with how crystal clear the video quality is. And it's something that I'm really happy about. I, I mean, I highly recommend the phone. I know that, you know, they're coming out with the Galaxy S, or, you know, like the 10 SE and all this other nonsense. Why? Unless there's an extreme difference, because the Galaxy Note 9, Samsung Galaxy Note 9, has terrific, excellent uh, specs on it, like the, the battery, the camera quality, the speaker uh, sound and everything is crystal clear. Um, so until another phone really blows my mind or makes me want to spend that much more money on another phone, it's going to have to go above and beyond. Because I don't like to just, if there's a, you know, only a couple changes on another phone, why spend an extra $900 on another phone? Or in some cases, $1,200. No. No reason, not unless there's, you know, a massive difference, which I don't see happening. Um, <clears throat> or unless the trade-in value is worth a lot on the Galaxy Note 10 when it comes out, but I hardly doubt that. Um, I do highly recommend it. It's an excellent phone. Finally a phone that has an excellent battery life. Finally a phone that has excellent video and uh, photo quality. Finally a phone that has uh, great speakers on it uh, for sound. Like, I am... I love showing off my phone. I... <clears throat> I work at Walmart in the electronics and I love showing off my phone to the customers uh, when they're thinking about what phones to buy I mean obviously I don't pressure them or anything I just show them hey this is you know what you can do with the quality of this and you know these are the details of this phone um, in comparison to the other ones um, <clears throat> so I mean, to each their own, and everyone has their own different, um, their own different taste in, in everything, really. And it's kind of, uh, not really an Apple fan or iPhone fan. And customers come in and ask me to fix it, I'm like, oh no. Um, we can try, <laughs> but luckily there's another associate that she's an iPhone person, I'm an Android person, so, you know, there's always somebody that somebody can go to, <clears throat> but anyway, getting off topic here, um, obviously, in my opinion, the Galaxy Note 9 is better than anything that any of the iPhones have to offer, in my opinion, it is the best phone out right now. There's just so much you can do with it. I don't care about the 5G stuff. I mean, yeah, it's super fast and everything, but there's just some things like cancer and everything else that the radiation from the phones and everything can cause and all that good stuff, um, which is a warning on the back of the packaging for all cell phones. Or should be, anyway. Um, <clears throat> but anyway. Uh, so, I'm perfectly happy with my Samsung Galaxy Note 9. I highly recommend it to people. It is an amazing phone. I can't talk enough about it. I can't show it off enough. Um, I mean, I have filmed so many videos and taken so many pictures with it because I'm just so impressed with it. And people ask me continuously if I filter my photos. Now, I'm not... No. The simple answer is no, that I don't filter my photos. And here's why. 
honestly. Admittedly, I don't even know how to filter photos. <clears throat> I don't even know. I mean, obviously, I could figure it out if I really wanted to and edit my photos if I really wanted to. But admittedly and honestly, I am already impressed with the quality of the pictures, so there's literally no need for me to filter anything. When people ask me if I filter my photos, absolutely not. What you see is what you get. They are beautiful the way that they are. It is crystal clear the way that it is. They are... <clears throat> the color spectrums and everything like everything about it is amazing so i am thoroughly amused when people ask me if i filter my photos because it's like first of all i'm not even a professional photo taker photographer um i just love taking photos I love taking pictures of like the sky the nature um you know, if I'm at a concert or a sporting event or something. And they they turn out like they are. They're crystal clear. They look professionally taken, but they're not. They're on my Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Uh, when people come into the photo center and we question them on copyright issues and everything... Sometimes it's difficult because I'll, you know, let my coworkers know, you know, this might be taken by a cell phone because I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 9 that takes extremely high quality. You wouldn't even know that it's taken from a cell phone because it's that clear. It looks like it's professionally done. People ask me all the time if it is, so, um, you know. <sighs> Sorry about that. It's late at night and I'm tired. Um, but I just wanted to, you know, let you guys know about this phone because it's incredible. Um, and I highly recommend it. Especially if you're thinking about upgrading or you're thinking about, you know, a really great phone and you're on, you know, the fence about it. Um, but honestly... It's worth it. I mean, I complain all the time about the price, but there's nothing I can really do about that. So, just have to suck it up and deal. But, um, yeah. There's my review on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. And I hope you guys like it. Like, subscribe, comment. Um, let me know your thoughts on different phones if you like different phones that's fine and comment um i want to hear everyone's opinion because i mean especially when it comes to the um camera aspect of it and the battery because there's not very many phones that have great batteries and the samsung galaxy note 9 is a phone that has a great battery um so and I heard that the Sam the Samsung S9 has a good battery too. But I'd have to relook that up. But anyway. Um have a great night guys. Until next time. Have a good night.